talk us through what this role is for you being the executive director of the Interfaith Conference and, and what you do in this role. Within the Interfaith Conference, we have uh, 22 partners, but I think that what we serve as, we serve as um, sort of ambassadors of faith. And when, when, you know, what that's about is like really nurturing our faith inclusivity as a community. So being inclusive of the way that people practice, live their life, um, the way that they, they, they navigate times, uh, hard times, good times, you know, times of community and community worship. And so, you know, I think that the Interfaith Conference is, is really just, I mean, we're a 51-year-old organization that nurtures um, faith. It's about teaching education and relationship building. So, um, you know, as, as we think about, you know, the, way, the different ways that we learn, uh, sometimes we learn from uh, listening to a podcast. Sometimes we learn through pictures or books or scripture. Um, this is really learning through the lived experience. And so um, when we bring people together, um, you know, we think about Amazing Faiths, Dinner Dialogues. We bring people of diverse faiths together. And as we ask these questions, we really um, nurture that part of you that, that listens with the intention to understand. Uh, rather than respond. So a lot of times when we're working in this space right here, we're really going to the depth of, of what does understanding look like, feel like, um, and, and how does that help you um, as you walk away from that particular relationship or that person of faith, how does that enrich your own faith journey? Mm -hmm. And uh, what we've heard from most people is that being part of interfaith conversations, dialogue, relationship building, and now advocacy really enriches their, their faith journey and their faith experience with their own particular faith. When I first came onto the Interfaith Conference, my biggest goal was this. I saw a lot of people within the mental health world um, who were hurting. And some of, the, some of the time that hurt caused them to feel shame. And sometimes they would look at a church and say, you know, I, I wish I could go into that church. But they would have so much shame that they, they, couldn't, they couldn't come to terms with walking in or in masjid. You know, it felt so much shame that they felt like they couldn't sit in the pews or, you know, a gudwara or any other place. And I think my hope when I came out to the Interfaith Conference was I want that person who feels damaged, who feels hurt, who feels shame or guilt or whatever they feel to be not only just in the, in the church, but I want them to take a step up to the front row. And I want that that person who feels that way to be the one who's teaching. I want that person and I want them to be embraced by that community. That's really the goal and hopefully we can get to that place where our, our religious walls you know, are not only just welcoming, but we, we open the doors and say, you belong here. You have been a police officer, an educator, you're an author. What led you to take this role? When I was growing up, I, you know, I came here when we were six years old. I never lost the amount of just, just gratitude that was felt by a new immigrant coming to this country and making home in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I, I remember growing up and really asking my mom some of those, so, now what we call existential questions of, you know, what is it to be a sick? Um, what do I want to do with my life? and how I wanted to serve. And, you know, originally I think that uh, I went into policing because that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to serve. I, I went into education because I wanted to serve. I went into mental health because I wanted to serve. And I think that that just life's journey, wherever it's taken me, has just said, okay, you know what, if you want to answer, if you want to ask those questions, let's answer that for you and say, this is how you serve. And I think that this, this part of my life is just, it's just beautiful because I think early on I was serving to serve other people. And now, you know, I, I get to have the gift of kind of serving what is, what is deep, deep within me to say, well, how do, how do we answer some of these questions that I've always had? And life just brought me to that point. So I think taking on this role was, it was definitely um, fulfilling of a purpose that I probably had from a very young age um, and, and helping other people kind of see that same part of themselves within their own faith journeys. 